What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we are doing a lot of achievements at once. There are a lot of collectibles here in Halo Infinite, and there's different achievements associated with getting all of a certain uh, collectible type. So I'm just going to cover all the collectibles all in one series of guides instead of kind of breaking them out into their own thing. So you could get them all at once instead of having to go back and forth a lot. So in this series, we're going to cover getting all the skulls throughout the campaign. We're going to cover getting all the audio logs. So that includes the UNSC, Spartan, and Banished audio logs. We're going to get all the Spartan cores, all the armor lockers, all the propaganda towers, and all of the Forerunner artifacts. Just a quick note here, most collectibles are found throughout the open world and can be obtained after beating the main campaign because the game will actually spawn you back into the open world after you beat the main storyline, giving you the ability to go after any side missions that you didn't complete in your initial playthrough. However, some audio logs and skulls won't be accessible anymore since they are placed within specific missions of the main storyline. Those are now locked. You completed them and you can no longer go back and get those. Unfortunately, there's no way currently to pick a particular mission to replay like in past Halo games, but 343 has stated they are working on this capability for a future update. But for now, if you didn't get everything from each mission in your first playthrough, you will need to start a new campaign, unfortunately. So with all that being said, we are going to cover all the collectibles in the first portion of the campaign, which is called Ringfall. Ringfall consists of the first three missions, starting with Warship Jabraken, or Gabraken, not sure on the pronunciation with that one, followed by Foundations, and then Outpost Tremonius, the very first part of the open world when you get up to the surface of Zeta Halo. So starting off with Warship Jabrak in the first mission, there is one skull in this mission, which is the Boom Skull. There are two audio logs on the UNSC side, and then there's one banished audio as well. And the first UNSC audio log is super easy to get. You can't miss it. Right when you gain control of your character, you unlock it. So all you need to do is just start the mission, essentially, and it'll unlock. It was very confusing to me how to obtain this at first. Uh, great for the average player, not great for me who's trying to figure out how to get all these things and present them in a video. Uh, I was lost as to how this was unlocked at first, but it just gives it to you. But anyway, on to the second one, which you actually do have to find and unlock. It doesn't just give it to you. This UNSC audio log is found right as you get to the top of your first elevator ride in this game. You'll head up and then you'll open the doors. It'll be sitting out here in front of you, waiting for you to pick it up, leaning up against some boxes here. What's nice about audio logs is when you're near one, it'll actually be beeping so you could hear it. You know when you're close by one. You'll find the skull a little further up ahead, and we're going to come to this room where you're on the bottom floor when you enter it, and there's actually like another level on top. There's some catwalks up there you can get up to with some enemies, and there's actually these crates being uh, kind of pulled up the walls on the right side. You want to go to the middle one. There's three of these uh, kind of tracks that pull up these crates. You want to go to the middle one and just drop down on this, and you'll be able to kind of ride it up. You can see I haven't killed all the enemies in this room yet. You could actually clear it out first before doing this, but as you ride it up, you want to look back in the other direction. There's a crate that is not moving over here, and on top of it is the Boom Skull. So hop off as you ride up to it, grab it, and we will head to the next collectible. The Banished Audio Log is found in the big room that when you enter it, it takes control of your camera and zooms into this cinematic event. You can watch it or skip it, it doesn't matter, but when you regain control of your character, you want to head to the right side of the room. Just hug the right wall. Don't drop down, there's another whole level down there. We're going to stay on the top while hugging the right side, and as we wrap around this corner, you'll find the Banished Audio Log sitting here also making sounds just like the UNSC counterparts which makes it easier to find when you're close by. On to foundations there is the same number of collectibles in this mission there's one skull, two UNSC audio logs, and one banished audio log. The first collectible in this mission is the cowbell skull so we'll get that first. This skull is in the room right after you get off the gondola and there's a bunch of ghostly John 117 kids running around the room. Right after that room is the room with the cowbell skull. Typically, there's a handful of jackals and grunts up ahead here, but I cleared them out already. And this first column you come to as you enter this area, you want to grapple up to the top of this. And from here, we're going to be able to grapple to the first rafter in this room, which has the skull on it, the cowbell skull. So we could use our scan function, and you can see it's highlighted right there. So we want to grapple up there, and you want to watch out because there's a giant gap in the middle of the floor here. So if you don't get up here, if you miss, you might end up falling to your death, but that's okay. You'll just get back your last checkpoint and you will be able to try again so grab the skull as you grapple up here and that is the first collectible in this mission and you can see before I grappled up here I turned on my flashlight just so I could see the rafter a little better so that's a little tip you could use if you are having trouble kind of finding out exactly where you need to go the first audio log in this mission is similar to the first audio log in the previous mission where you just get it naturally by playing the game so you'll get to this point and the weapon will say did I miss something there's a file that's been unlocked but I don't have access and that is actually telling you that the UNSC audio log has been unlocked. So I'm going to move forward a little bit here. I hit pause or I hit that menu a little too early. But now that I move down here a few seconds after she says that, 
Now you can see it says one out of two audio logs have been obtained. So that one as well took me a long time to figure out how and when that was being unlocked. But that's all you have to do is just go through the mission. You'll unlock this one. The banished audio log can be found in the room where when you enter it, there's a big blue beam of light stretching from where you enter to all the way across the expanse to the other side of the room. There's a couple gaps in the floor here, so you have to activate uh, the weapon. You gotta insert her into the pedestal here, fight some enemies, uh, do another round of that halfway through the room, and then you're finally able to get to the end of the room, which will contain, as you get to the door that exits this area, you will find the banished uh, audio log sitting right up against the door here. So this one's tough to miss, right in your way as you progress through the level. As you're retrieving a power seed to activate the final elevator to exit this mission, you will find yourself in this area where you are running along a platform, and you're going to find that at the end of this platform, along with the power seed, there is a data pad on the left here, an audio log. So grab this one, and then grab that power seed. As we start out post Harmonious, we will be introduced to our first Spartan Corps. There are three total in this section, along with a banished audio log and our first armor locker as well. And the first Spartan Corps is going to be right in front of you as you get to the top of the elevator. So head over here, open this up. These are really good because not only are they collectibles and going to get you achievements, they also upgrade your equipment. So you could upgrade your grapple shot, your shields, your threat sensor, your thruster, and drop wall. So those are separate achievements actually to fully upgrade those. The second one is pretty much right behind us as we exit this facility. So we need to get back behind this structure we're in. So as this big door opens up, we're going to go to the right and then we're just going to go backwards basically. 180 degree turn. And then we're going to head over here and right back behind the structure as promised is the second of three Spartan cores in this area. So grab this one. Starting back from that big door that we just exited, we're going to go to the left this time. And you can see there is a building on the left side. So we're going to go behind that. So you could either go up over it or to the left of it or to the right of it. There's basically a million ways to get places with Halo Infinite with the grapple shot. So we are going to go to the left over here just in this scenario. Doesn't matter. Uh, there's still a bunch of enemies uh, on the right side. So I went left. I snuckily got around this side. Snuckily. Uh, sneakily would be the word to use. But we are going to just open it up. Take note that you need to open these boxes from a particular side. So if you're not facing the front of it, it won't open up. So just try a different angle if it is not opening for you. While facing the Spartan core, we are going to do a 180. And we're going to head into the direction where a bunch of enemies normally are. But I cleared out this whole section. And we're just going to run towards this wall. You can see there's some smaller uh, buildings or structures up ahead here with some crates. And up against one of them is a banished audio log. So grab that. We are going to head up this wall that's right behind it. And we are going to grab the Spartan Locker. So we're going to wrap up around these crates here. You can see the platform for the outpost facility here on the left. But we are not going to go onto the platform just yet. We're just going to move ahead. And at the corner of this platform is the first of many lockers that we're going to open up. What's cool about the lockers is they don't do anything to enhance your gameplay in the campaign. But on the multiplayer side, they unlock different uh, customization things you could use for the multiplayer. So you can see for this one. I got the Obelisk Stone Mark VII Armor Coating, so I could slap that on in multiplayer if I so desired. But that is the last of the collectibles for the first three parts of Halo Infinite. Keep an eye out for part two of this series. We will be covering the Lockdown Collectibles, which covers a large chunk of the open world section. So we're going to be using our map a lot more. We didn't really use it for this one because this was uh, pretty straightforward uh, missions we had to cover here. But now we're breaking out into the open world, so a lot more map use is coming into play. So thanks for watching, and I will see you later for part two. Thanks for watching guys, if you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.